What's up everyone, it's Mario Nintendo here talking to you about how to use Dream Studio. Oh yeah. So this is gonna be a quick tutorial and I'm, I'm only gonna show you basically how to use it. If you don't know about the program or anything, well this is the video for you. There are better videos than this one, most of them are more in-depth and there's even this guide which I borrowed from the makers of Dream Studio to put on FFR. You can read that as well. Here's an uh, annotation and well if you don't already have the program uh, my, my advice is to click on that annotation because the download link is located in here so what you want to click in the tr in the thread is basically Dream Studio Beta 6 or Dream Studio Beta 5 whatever suits you best uh, I prefer Beta 5 for some reason I don't know why but click that one and you're gonna end up on a media fire uh, page so here you go proof that it's not bullshit <laughs> or something. So when you use the when you download the thing, you're gonna have a .exe file that you're simply gonna open. It's gonna be Dream Studio and it's gonna be able to work by itself. So that's fun. Let's close this internet page and let's go to Dream Studio. It's right here. So it did a little little icon with the pen on it. Double click and it's gonna open in it all its glory. Well, in fact, it's pretty basic but it, you know trust me it, does, it really does some nice stuff so basically what Dream Studio is looking to open right now is a song so a dot mp3 file at most or a dot ogg if you're random so I'm gonna use a, an mp3 file of a song and to play it just press space so you can see that the song is playing everything is cool nice I feel like playing some FFR right now, but I can't because I have to step this. So let's do it, let's do it. What are we seeing right now? Well, basically this is the audio wave of the chart. So when there's a really loud noise, like right here or right here, well, we see it in the chart. And when it's really silent, like in the middle here, we see nothing. So this is rather useful compared to how Step Mania, Step Mania worked. Because now you can visually see if your stuff is on sync or not. And, and there you go. So step one, when using Dream Studio, you want to sync your song. Just like you did with Step Mania, you had to place your BPMs with Step Mania. Well, with Dream, you have to place your beats. Again, it goes visually. It's a bit more intuitive to use. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, to place a beat, press B. So for example, if I want to place a beat right here, I click on the place I want to place it with the mouse, I press B, and... Whoop, See, there, there's a blue line, a pale blue line here, that go that stretches to here. That's a beat. I can place another one, another one, another one, another one. I have tons of beats. I have a lot of them. If I want to d delete them all, Control A and press Delete. So, that's fine. But what if you don't want to place all the beats manually? Simple. Simply play the song and just press B. So pre put a beat to every time this, the, there's a beat in, in the real song. So let's see how it's done here. For example, I start anywhere in the song, it doesn't really matter. So I press B. So I guess that's enough. I mean, that's a lot of beats. And what Dream Studio is going to do, it's going to calculate the average BPM between your beats. So that's a really cool functionality. When it, you're gonna put your um, your chart from Dream Studio to Step Mania, you're gonna notice that Dream Studio calculated the BPM between each beat, and it's gonna put it uh, in the right way in Step Mania. It really is the most easy tool to use for irregular beat per minutes uh, in songs. So here we go. I placed a bunch of beats. Now what do I do? Press the A key on your keyboard. You're gonna see a menu pop up if I can zoom in a bit. So, what we see here, it tells me the average BPM is 1700.264. Uh, well, I guess I was a bit in inaccurate, so I'm just gonna use 1700. And the SM offset, that's where your beats start. I started around the middle of the song, I started around here. But you don't really want to, well, I want the song to start here. So I'm gonna put my mouse, I'm gonna click and see the offset. 
the offset is, is that number right here, 2.153. So I'm going to press A again. I'm going to put the right number in the average BPM and put the right number in here too. So 2.153. Here we go. Awesome. So now I press enter and you're going to notice the beats are going to appear here. Yeah, Dream Studio did its job and now the song is fully synced. I'm going to press F3 to enable what we call the assist tick. So it, you're going to hear if the beats are on sync or not with the song. Here we go, let's give it a try, pressing space to play the song. It doesn't look on sync here, but listen to here. So I'm zooming in by pressing control and okay, holding control and pressing the down arrow to let you guys see more. So yeah, we synced a song in about three minutes. That's very, very fun. And it can be done even in even shorter times. So good luck to you guys. Now we've synced our song. What do we do? We place the arrows. So you press the tab key. Pressing tab will enable what they call arrow mode. So see, there are a bunch of arrows that appeared on my screen. If I press one, two, three, or four, it's gonna place an arrow based on the number. So I press one and three, I have two arrows at the same time. If I press the down arrow, I go to the next beat. Just like in uh, Step Mania, except you see if you're on the chart or not, so that's very helpful. Again, just like in the Step Mania editor, if you press the left or right key, you see that changes the color here. So, for example, if you're on yellow, you can place three arrows between every red arrow. So, one, two, three fun. And that's how you use uh, a lot of, of uh, weird rhythms. For example, here you have 12 notes. So it's, it, if, we, uh, if we hear it, it, it won't go in sync with the song, but well, whatever. So that's how you use them. Use them carefully. You can go up to 190 second notes. That's very, very small notes. Look, look how much I can put Oh my god, that is amazing. Again, just like the beats, if you want to hear is that cluster of notes, like I did uh, right here, use con uh, press control, press A, and then delete. Delete everything. And if you press tab, again, now you're back to beat mode. So if you press control A, now you're selecting every beat and not every arrow. So yeah, place your arrows, have fun. Hoo -hoo. You can create holds by pressing an arrow and holding it down. That's fun. So if you play the song, it's gonna look like this. That's a really awful chart, but at least it's on sync. Nice. And well, what do I do when my song is finished? Basically, you want to save it. So use file, press save as, and you don't want to save it as a .ds file because .ds is a Dream Studio project. It works well if you're not finished with your chart, but if you want to play it, for example, in Step Mania, where the uh, gaming engine is a bit better, where well, you're gonna try, you're gonna want to save it in .s right here. And also, don't use single BPM. Use .sm because single BPM will average every BPM change, and the minute you have any slight BPM change in your song, it's gonna get all wrong. So use single b uh, use dot sm normal stuff press save and then you're good to go hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm mario nintendo and if you want any more detail on how to use dream studio please follow this link in the description to the tutorial for the official guide see ya